Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. It is probably going to be something along the lines of a fall, autumn, winter tutorial. I was just feeling the dark lip. I love this dark lip. And I just got in the mail yesterday my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So I wanted to play around with it because it's beautiful and this is what I came up with. So I really hope you guys enjoy the look. Don't forget to give it a like if you like it. If you want more tutorials using the Sweet Peach palette just let me know down below. And I will see you in my next video. I'm obviously starting out with a bare face and the first product I'm going in with is a Cover FX Illuminating Primer. It's just a little sample I got so I'm just applying this all over my skin. And then the foundation I'm using is the NARS Luminous Weightless All Day Foundation, something like that. So I'm just squirting a couple of pumps onto my face and I'm just blending everything out using my Artiste Oval 8 brush. Which you guys know I love this brush so much so just blending everything into the skin. Then for the eyes, I am first priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just using this as a base for all my eyeshadows to stick to. Then going in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, I'm taking this bony kind of shade and I'm just applying this all over the lid up to the brow just so I have a nice powdery base. Then the next shade I'm taking is this warm toned brown shade and I'm just applying this into the crease using my Sigma E40 brush. I don't know the names of these shades off by heart yet but I will have them all linked down below in order. Um, so yeah, I'm just blending this into my crease and making sure I'm winging it out a little bit at the corners. Then I'm going in with the warmer reddish tone brown next to it and just repeating the same steps just focusing this right into the crease and blending everything out. Then I'm taking this like shimmery plummy purple shade and I'm using this on a Sigma brush. I forget the name of this one but it'll be linked down below. And I'm just starting to apply this into the outer corner and just slowly blend it in. I just wanted to add some depth and add a little bit of a purple shade into the outer V. So I'm just blending that in and then I'm pulling it through the crease of my eye as well. Then just going back in with my blending brush and making sure the shades are blended together. Then I'm taking this shade called Caramelized and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid using my fingers. It's a beautiful brownie, warm toned, just beautiful shade. I love it. And then just again, blending everything out. I'm taking this shade called Luscious and I'm just using my finger to press this into the center of the lid just to give it a little bit of a reflect look. And I love that shade so, so, so much. Then I'm taking the shade Charmed, I'm sure, and I'm just blending this into the outer V once again, just with a MAC 217 brush this time. And then I'm taking this matte white color shade, white color shade, and I'm just applying this to my brow bone and then blending again. Then I'm taking a Rimmel Coal Pencil in black and I'm just tight lining and then lining my upper lash line with that. And then for falsies, I'm applying my Vegas Nay Shining Star Lashes, which are my all-time favourites. And then to conceal, I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm just using a Real Techniques foundation brush to apply this onto my face. So I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and all down the centre of my face to conceal and highlight. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush just to press this into the skin. I really just stipple everything in. I don't really blend it, but... Yes, that's how I do it. Then I'm going in with this Model Co Contour Stick. I love this product. It's the first time I'd used it, so I wasn't too sure um, how about my technique and that kind of thing, but I'm just applying it to all the normal areas and it is so creamy and pigmented. So I'm just using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend it out. I find this brush the best brush to blend out cream contour. I don't know why, I just really like it for that purpose. To set all my concealed areas, I'm just using the highlight shade from the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette and I'm just using a Morphe G8 brush to press this into my skin. Then to bronze up my face and just set the contour, I'm using the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea and I'm just applying this to all the areas just to set the cream contour and this sort of gives my skin a nice glow. And then to give it even more of a glow, I'm using this blush from Milani. This is Luminoso, so I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks and blending it back. 
And then to take the glow to the next level, I'm using Becca and Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop Highlighter, which I absolutely love. So I'm just applying this to all the high points of my face, just the normal areas where I apply it. And I am using a Real Techniques setting brush to plop this onto my face. And to set everything, I'm just using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking the mixture of these two warm brown shades and I'm just buffing this underneath the lower lash line using my Sigma E40 brush um, just to smoke everything out and bring it all together. And I did blend a bit too far down, so I just took my concealer brush again and just tidied up that edge. Then I'm taking the purpley shimmery shade once again and just adding this to the outer third of the lower lash line. And then taking Luscious and popping this, pl I keep saying plopping, I'm very sorry. And putting this into the inner corners and the lower lash line. And then I decided to put a bit of this nectar shade just into the inner corners to brighten everything up. And then I just took a clean blending brush to make sure everything was seamless. Going back in with the coal pencil, I'm just lining my waterline to give it a bit of a smokier look. And then applying some mascara to my lower lashes. Then for the lips, I'm first lining them using this lip pencil in the shade Ravish. This is by Rimmel. It's one of their Exaggerate pencils. So I'm just completely outlining the lip and filling it in a little bit. And then the lip color I'm using is called Panda and it's a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. So I did do two coats of this just to get a nice opaque color. But after the lip color, the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I can't film other. Um, and then.